Hello everyone and welcome back to Field Sports with Speed. So the pigeons were building in numbers again and it was time to get back on the laid barley. So sit back and watch another great day out on the pigeons. Gun went all over them. Huh? It went a little bit too fast for what I was thinking. My brain didn't work that fast. So I would fully agree with anyone saying that it's not ideal shooting on laid crops because you do struggle to pick every bird. I'm not going to lie, you don't pick every bird, it's hard to find them all, but there's ways of managing it, you've got to be realistic on your shots, like keeping them close, um, and obviously checking with the farmer to make sure that you can actually go through the crop to pick the birds, I mean, this crop was very sparse, you know, it was, it was pretty bad anyway, but it was quite sparse, so as you walked over you can see pigeons, um, you obviously don't want to be taking dogs because barley and the seeds going in the dog's eyes and in the paws is just terrible. So, you know, you've got to check these things before doing, going out and shooting the birds. But also, like, you need to check with the farmer, is it okay if we go through the crop? Because you don't want to be doing more damage than the pigeons actually would. So a few people were asking what chokes I was using because I've actually um, tried a couple of different ones and they're T titanium chokes, they're the extended ported ones which um, yeah for me baby not ported is the way forward because they look like an absolute nightmare to clean but I'm shooting a, a half and a five eighths at the moment but to be quite honest for the kills and the hit the pattern that I'm getting from the half choke I think I might just go for another half choke because I think that's really all I need the, the hits you'll see on the video are absolutely brutal and that's with a Ely Select 630 gram so it's not even a very potent cartridge like I'm normally using fives um, in, in a 32 gram and, and or a 34 and I mean the, the hits I'm getting on the 630s are awesome so yeah definitely recommend these they are pretty damn good. Depends how she feels with speed. Now, how on earth this wasn't a two-in-one, I don't know. I think I missed the second one just over the top, but I never even see it coming, but God, it was bloody close. Check this out. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You lucky bastard. Oh, the mister, anyway. And in front. Ooh. 
Now this is a prime example of why you should check to make sure you set your high poles at the right height. You can see on this clip here that I've gone through to swing through the bird and I've had to come up and over to actually shoot the bird. So needless to say, I uh, was pretty quick in changing the height of the high pole. Hey love, have you, have you thought about a cover? It's ones like that that you just can't get on. Yeah, you want? I'm not too sure whether I hit that other bird on the way down. Now this was another great moment that I am always glad that I've actually filmed the day because as I took the first bird, I, I thought it had genuinely, like, I just hit the same dead bird again and missed the second one. I thought it was like, it was almost like it took the, took the shot for it. But um, I didn't, like, on, on a close inspection, I'd actually seen that I'd hit the second bird hard and it actually flew into the tree. And when I went and looked, I obviously found the bird at the bottom of the tree. So it was a left and a right and, uh, yeah, another nice pair. Lovely. Looking at that one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that really hurt. Move it down, boy. Got a bit rapid on that one. Oh, no, I'm right. Over the other side. Over the Now I know I said about letting them come close, but this was a little bit ridiculous. I'd seen one pigeon come into the right and then all of a sudden there's one directly in front of me and I just instinctively got up and shot it. And yeah, watch the footage. Maybe if you're a little bit squeamish, don't look. But I mean, it was good eating because it took its head clean off. So thank you for watching guys, really do appreciate it. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you on the next video.